Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a good day and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving break. I am Ben Jammin from Jam Studios and I am uh, really sorry about the gap that I've actually taken between my last video and this one that I'm making right now. I've just had a whole bunch of stuff going on in my life that I haven't really had time to making these videos, but I am proud to say that I am back to making this video and I soon will make many more in the coming future as there might uh, be some little breaks for me as well. But in today's uh, episode, we're gonna continue making this demo 2D platform. Uh, we uh, Last time we created the bullet to hit the player. Now we're actually gonna create the user interface so you can actually tell how much health our player has. So basically to start this off, we wanna make sure we have the groundwork before we actually make our user inter interface. Uh, we wanna make sure that our bullet scene uh, if it hits a player, it will. If the body has a method called take damage, then we will take damage. And this bullet causes ten points of damage. So that is the first step. Now the next step is to make sure that our player has this take damage method. So now we must go to our player scene, our player script, and look for the take damage function, which is right here. And as you can see, when it uh, when the bullet accesses the body take damage amount, it will access this. So health minus equals the amount. Our health is up here. We just have a variable that equals health and a variable that equals the max health, which is 100. And then at the ready function, we create we give health equaling the max health. So now our health is equal to 100, and we shoot oh okay well we shoot there we go now it's spelled correctly <laughs> we uh, shoot a signal called health changed which I'll get into later of why we have this signal right here but this is a custom signal we send through our health that we have currently multiplied by 100 over our max amount of health that we can have now this will give us a specific value between 0 and 100. Now this 100 does not mean our max health. It, the 100 is actually according to the value of our texture progress within our uh, UI, our user interface that we will create later. And then the second value here is telling us to either play an animation or not. If it's true, it will uh, not play the animation. Uh, this will, this whole signal will become much easier to actually see in the future, but right now, uh, just bear with me, but we do have this function take damage. So we are subtracting our health right now, and then we are doing the exact same signal as before. And you can tell that this is false because we want our UI to actually play the animation. And so, uh, that's what we're doing. Then if our health actually gets below zero, we want to uh, kill the player, but we don't want to just end it right there. We want to we want to change it back to the original scene so we can keep on play. That is our groundwork there. Now we need to go back to our level one uh, scene and actually create a new node. So we're going to create a new scene create a user interface. We want a canvas layer. That's what we want. Now this will actually allow us to put anything on the screen. And as our player moves around, this thing will not move around. We're going to call this the HUD. And we're going to add in a margin container. Now this margin container, we want, we want to have it the full rect. So if we press layout, you can see all of these different orientations. Uh, they each do different things as they list here, but we want the full rect, so we get the entire screen selected. And we want to come over to the right here to custom constants. This will allow us to put in a margin. So the whole thing is stretched out across the screen. Now, on the left, right, up, and down, we're just going to go with five all around. And this will shove all of its children five pixels in on each side. 
Now we're going to add another child to the margin container. And this child is going to be the V box container. Now this, uh, yeah, as you can see right there, it's shoved in from the entire thing because of the margin container. Now the V box container has everything slotted uh, side to side. So we'll have one thing here, another thing there, another thing below it, a fourth thing below it. It'll just keep going down, down, down. As you can see, alignment, uh, either begin, center, end. So begin, center, or the end. We want uh, this. So if we go back here to level one, we have our coins here at the top left. To make it a little more easier, we'll have the health bar at the top right. So we want this V container to be starting at the top. And now we have our thing. So right now our health bar would be right here in the center. But we don't want it in the center. We want it at the top right. So we're going to add in a horizontal box container. Now this will be at the left, top left right now. Unless we go over to alignment as the exact same as the V box. So we want to make it to the end. Now it starts over here on this side. Uh, let's just go back uh, through these and actually change their name so that our code later uh, will be a little easier, a little shorter to write. So we're going to go with margin v cont and then h cont. There we go. Now let's add in our our uh, textures, our textures. So we're going to go and get our texture rect. This is going to be the image of a heart to tell you that, hey, this is your health bar. Oh, look at that. It's a heart. It's a little heart. Now we're going to go and get our texture progress. This is what I was uh, talking about earlier. This actually we're going to rename to health bar. That is our little health bar there. And it's very interesting because you can actually have three different textures on it. As you can see on the right here, we've been under, over, and progress. So the progress is going to be the middle of the three here. And this is what we're actually going to use to show uh, how much health you have. Um, so this is, the, this is what's going to be changing going up and down uh, from 0 to 100, as you can see by the minimum value here the maximum value here, and the value, which is at zero right now. So we're gonna throw in our green bar at the progress, and we're going to change the value to 65. And you can see that it went from zero to 65 right there. Now you can change these minimum and maximum values, which would change up, um, which would change up how far this actually goes. So we're gonna go 10,000. And you can see that it's a very small amount. So let's just go a thousand there. And right there, you can now see it when the value is a thousand. But we don't want it there. We want it back at 100, 0 to 100 at 65. And you can tell there. But it's not very clear where, uh, how much health you actually have right now. So we're going to use the under and the over to actually show how much health you can have and how much health you don't have. And everything in between so i have another sprite another image right here we're going to put it in the over because it has these bars here that i actually want to show how much health you have uh uh earlier we saw that the player has from zero to 100 health the max health is 100 so each of these ticks are actually 25 and i made sure i counted it for that so then you can tell how much health you have based on these ticks. So you can clearly tell that this can be 65 because this tick is 25, that tick is 50, this tick is 75. So it's somewhere in between 50 and 75. And now that we have those, I just realized I misspelled health bar. There we go. Now I, now I did not misspell it. <clears throat> now that we have those set up, we want to actually get another child to this health bar called a tween, called a tween. This node will actually help us uh, make nice and smooth transitions between the values. 
between this value down here, this 65 that I have, it will nice and easily move it back and forth between it. And we want to make this, uh, if we actually jumped into the game right now and we got hit, uh, it would just right now smoothly go down. But it, you wouldn't really know. It wouldn't really uh, catch your attention that you're losing your health. So we want to come back up to this canvas layer and create another node, an animation player. Animation player. There we go. We want to create that animation player and actually make this bar flash so it catches people's attention. So we're going to go to health bar here. We want to change this to red. We're going to change that to red. Get this animation player here. Create a new animation called health bar flash. Health bar flash. Now the way I want it set up is I want to do a quick little flash. So we're going to go with point two and then point oh five, I believe. Yes. So it's just going to take that much time every tick you see here. We want to then go back to the health bar and create this little animation with the progress colors. So we're going to go red, create, going to go to point one, boom, oh, that's not, okay, well, let's back that up. All right, I tried to make this easier on myself, but nope, clearly this thing does not want to. So then at point oh five, we're going to go white, point one, we're going to go red. 0.15, we go back to white, ooh, at 0.2, guess what? That's right, red, and boom, there we go. That's a little animation there. We're going to, oh, we gotta save the scene first, so let's save the scene, and now let's just save it. And we have uh, the groundwork of our uh, HUD, our, unit, our HUD. Now, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm about to make the script for the HUD. Uh, I'm basically going to go code it on my own and then go back over with you guys so that uh, it can easily, I'm trying to make these videos a little shorter than they usually are. So that's why I'm going to go and code the script myself, but don't worry, I'll go over and explain everything uh, for you guys. So here we go. Now here's our script up at the top here. I have every single color of the bar that we're going to be using which is red, green, and yellow. This will signify and help kind of tell the person like, hey, you're good on health. Hey, you should be a little iffy. And oh my God, you're about to die. That's what these colors are here. The bar texture is uh, the, current, uh, the current color of the bar. So red, green, or yellow. And this is an on ready var for the uh, root way to the health bar that we set up the texture progress. Now it's very, this thing is very weird. Uh, you want to make sure you actually use the root when you do uh, the text, when you do the dot texture progress and the dot value down here. It's very important that you actually get the root, the child of it. I, uh, I used to do it like this, where I called a variable to it. I did the variable dot texture progress and it did not want to work. It's very weird. It's even, it even gets more stranger because you can tell down here that I'm highlighting this health bar and that's there. The variable is right there. Very weird. Cannot tell you why. So uh, now we go to our first of two functions in this HUD, which is the update health bar. And this is actually what our signal is connected to in our player script. We have our value and then if we're healing or not, this is basically because of the animation we just finished. We don't want the bar to flash when we're healing. That just gets a little excessive. But this value here is that our current health times 100 divided by our max health, as you saw in the signal. That's what our value is. And it will output a number between 0 to 100, and which gives us our value here. So this is right here where we decide what our bar texture is going to be, either red, green, or yellow. And then we actually make it show which one of those it is. And then this is when we actually uh, put our value that we're at right now to our new value. 
this is how we smoothly transition between those two things, the uh, value of the health bar. Then uh, down here, we actually either play the animation or we don't, but then we make sure that we set the value that we have, the new value that we have to the uh, value of the health bar. And once our animation actually does finish, uh, it will finish off with the red color. So we want to make sure that we send the signal of the animation player to this script so we can make sure that the texture progress color is the right color, which is our bar texture, which is what we made sure we get up here. Uh, I did forget, however, to actually connect it. So there we go. Now it's connected. Now we want to make sure we copy this, save all that, go back to our level one. We want to make sure we uh, import this into our level one scene. Now that we have it in here, it should be right there. Voila. Now, our last step here is to get the player's health changed. Oh my God, I misspelled it. That is misspelled. Health. There we go. Yeah. Um, it's right, right there. Oh, not right here. Okay. Well, sorry about my misspelling there. That's, it's embarrassing. Um, yeah. Moving on. We have our health change uh, signal here, so we want to connect it to our HUD right there, and Control V. So we have update health bar. We connect it up. And we decide to play it. Oh, run, 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 run. And as you can see, our bar is now fully complete with the green color. That is because of our ready function. We send the signal to it first. If you remember seeing it from before, it used to be red at 65. That's what it is right now. I didn't change anything. And we just we can collect our coins. You can see that the three coins still works. And let's go and get hit by the bullets here. And you can see our health bar is flashing and decreasing. And that is how you create a health bar. Thank you for watching. Uh, I've been Ben Jammer from Jam Studios.